What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about more development troubles, potentially, for GTA 6. Now, this is not the first time we've heard about this, which does not, you know, that's not a good signal, I would say. And this comes from uh, Account NGT, which you guys may uh, or may not know, but, you know, I just made a video a few days ago that uh, this person seems to be in the know, and they uh, did a series of tweets for Star Wars Eclipse. So, and they, I, again, I think they, they know what they're talking about. So, you know, if you don't want to believe them, that is totally, totally cool. But again, we've heard about, you know, a development hell scenario from GTA 6 before. So this is not the first time. So what does this person have to say? Some people don't realize how chaotic the development is. I really think there will be disappointment for many people for some aspects. Of course, not the graphic side. If the game is announced this year slash early 2022, we can really be worried. Um, so the last one is more of like a prediction or you know it's not necessarily like a you know this is a for sure thing but you know we've obviously i believe what the head writer of gta 6 left and that really from what it seems like has put the studio in like a downward sp a spiral if they weren't already in one you know before that and that's just one kind of instance of some some bad stuff that's been happening again this is the second time at least that i've covered and, and maybe there's been more second time that two different people you know this is one guy and the other one was another person have said like this is you know it's not looking good that you know whether it's been restarted just a few years ago or you know whatever uh you know, again whatever leak or rumor you want to hear that things are not good over there now this guy keeps it a little bit more open right some people don't realize how chaotic the development is well what does that really you know what is that really saying uh i really think there'll be disappointments for many people i mean look i i uh, man i mean after what rockstar just did with that gta trilogy they need to turn it around i'm not a big fan of them just rotating between gta and red dead you know anyway i kind of want other games i'm also not a big fan of their big emphasis on multiplayer and seemingly getting away from the single player although they did kill it with red dead 2 story and just the you know mechanics of it and all that stuff so we'll have to see ultimately i've never been the biggest gta fan in the world and i do think 5 pushed you know the open world genre pretty far but at the same time it's just that i would say since then and i guess besides red dead 2 there's just been a lot of signs that things are not going well i know in the comments uh either either on reddit or twitter just people are not you know very uh optimistic or enthusiastic of what rockstar could do i mean there's a lot of companies now that when you say x team or publisher is making you know x thing there's a lot of people that, you know that are immediately like oh okay like when you hear ubisoft is making anything right doesn't normally come off the greatest anymore and honestly rockstar seems to be up there um but again he kind of leaves it open right the graphics graphics aside i mean that's kind of what i to be honest like my expectation for gta 6 is this beautiful looking game again push what open world games can be and can do and then everything else I don't really have any expectation for, right? If the story sucks, I didn't really, I don't really know what I would expect. And by the way, I'm not like letting them off the hook. Like when it comes out, you know, I'll play it and I'll, you know, be critical of it and, you know, we'll call it out. But I'm just saying like right now, I don't expect too much uh, from the GTA stories. But again, I'm not kind of like letting them off the hook. This is not a good sign. I will just say that it's not a good sign. In terms of the last part, though, if it's announced now or early 2022, we can really be worried. And, you know, that... I feel like I don't even know how to really analyze that one, right? Because like you hear that the game is, you know, at least let's say three or so years away. And it's like, well, would they announce it now? I don't think you would announce it for years. So maybe they're saying like, you know, if they announce it now, they're rushing. They're trying to like, uh, you know, they know people are talking about it. And so they want to kind of like match that and say, you're talking about it. Let's show it to you. Let's get you guys pumped. But then like, that's going to be a signal that, you know, the game's going to be bad. So, you know, it's a, it's not the greatest. I, I like this, you know, account NGT based off the Star Wars Eclipse stuff, but I don't really, the stuff that he just posted here, I don't really like, uh, you know, the wording of it all that much, but it does line up with what other people have said of, uh, you know, some major, major problems, whether again, it's, it's restarting from scratch or just not, or maybe focusing too hard on multiplayer and the single player is going to be garbage. Those kind of things that have been 
talked about the game for quite a while. We'll have to see what happens, you know, when the game gets shown and then when it gets, uh, you know, released. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed, bell icon turned on. If you want to follow me anywhere else, I have a Twitter, I have a second channel, I also have Patreon and YouTube memberships. Links for them all are in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video.